Hey, Vsauce 3, Michael here, and we have all collected Mario coins. They're fun, they're shiny, but how much would they actually be worth in dollars in real life? The answer may surprise you, and the best guy to answer that question is Joey. Hey, Vsauce, Joey here, and I've got a question. How much is a coin from the Mario universe worth, as in real US dollars? Now for the purposes of this extraordinarily scientific study that can in no way be challenged, let's stick to the classic Mario games, NES only. There are several ways to tackle this question. First, though not necessarily canon, let's make the same assumption most everyone else does, that these coins are made of solid gold, and that means we need to figure out how big it is. This is where the spinning coins from Super Mario Bros. 3 come in real handy. Looking at them from different angles, you'll find a volume of 828 cubic pixels per coin. For comparison's sake, take a look at Mario. He stands 28 pixels high. Taking the average height of an Italian male, 5 feet, 9.5 inches, we can extrapolate that one pixel is about 2.5 inches square. Therefore, one coin has a volume of 7.5 cubic feet. At that size, one solid gold coin would weigh four and a half tons, or two of these fully loaded with passengers and cargo. That much gold is worth about $228 million in today's market. Now, one could easily scoff at these numbers, but maybe the coins are just gold-plated. Well, if that's the case, then the possibilities are limitless. The insides could be made of copper or platinum or cream cheese. So how about another method? What's the purchasing power of a coin in Mario's world? Well, in these classic games at least, everyone knows that 100 coins equals an extra life. So what's the value of a life? Surprisingly, there are some quantifiable answers. The US Environmental Protection Agency, when analyzing if regulations make economic sense, has used something called the value of a statistical life. In 2009, the value of a statistical life was set at $7.9 million. Thus, according to the EPA, one coin is worth $79,000. Or we could look at the sum of Mario's parts on the black market. The website humanforsale.com considers a bunch of personal information to give you a somewhat tongue-in-cheek value for your life on the black market. All we have to do is make a few educated guesses concerning Mario's background. Bilingual? Sure. Alcohol? Not on Nintendo's watch. Put in all the info and the value of Mario's life comes out to $1,485,130. So, a little under $15,000 per coin. But aren't these values a bit high for something that's littered throughout every corner of these games? It's been established that these coins are legal tender in the Mushroom Kingdom. So what exactly is the nature of this money? Well, if the Mushroom Kingdom is minting these coins, they're going to have to pay for the resources that go into them, regardless of whether it's gold or cream cheese. And when your basic unit of currency costs thousands of US dollars, at a minimum, then you're going to have a very limited supply. This will cause supply-side deflation. That's where the value of money is so high and the cost of goods so low that it makes little sense to invest. No one would buy anything on credit and the entire economy would stagnate, which means no loans available for Toad to build new item shops or casinos. In fact, such deflation was a hallmark of the Great Depression. But one important fact that argues against these coins being a minted currency is that they're renewable. They practically grow in trees. Well, in boxes. And if Mario starts a stage over for any reason, all the coins that he collected come right back. And that means there's an entirely new worry for the Mushroom Kingdom. Inflation. This occurs when there's too much coinage in the system and money has less buying power over time. If this runs out of control, you get hyperinflation. One famous example of such occurred in Germany after World War I, when it had to print tons of money in order to pay off its war debts. The problem is, there's no way to control the minting of these coins. They literally regenerate within seconds, and that's just begging to be abused. Unscrupulous Marios could collect all the coins in a stage, die at the end, and still have a net profit as they restart. Thus, the money supply would grow without limits. You'd eventually need wheelbarrows full of coins just to buy one lousy fire flower. With all this in mind, the monetary value of a coin seems moot. Even if Mario was the richest person in the Mushroom Kingdom, he'd still be poor. Due to their ridiculously quick regenerative properties, these coins have no worthwhile value. 
However, if an extra life is always worth 100 coins, and the coins have no value, what does that say about the value of a life in this world? And consequently, the value of saving a kidnapped princess in peril? That's something I leave for you to ponder. And as always, thanks for watching. Do you need even more video game related videos? Come to my own personal YouTube channel at Planet of the Grey Wolf. I've got reviews, retrospectives, explanations of video game tech. Yeah, come on over, we'll have a ton of fun.